Hi, this 24 full pan set by Paul Rubens is an affordable student grade watercolor set that comes in a durable enamel coated tin. There is a thumb hook on the back if you'd like to hold it while working outdoors or at an easel, but this set is a bit large to comfortably hold or travel with. Each color is in its own plastic pan with an unusual thin metal cup lining in the inside of each one. Their other student grade pan set called Pretty Excellent also has a flexible plastic ice cube style tray insert, but that one's paint is poured directly into it without the separate individual pan, so it's less ready to disassemble. If you take that tray out, you'd have space to place brushes or add more pans into the tin. Otherwise, I'll say right off the bat that if you're debating trying this and you do not already own Pretty Excellent, I would pick that or the awesome new Mia 36 set over this Paul Rubens one. The per color cost breaks down to about a dollar a full pan or 50 cents per half pan, which is very close in price point to those other sets. While this full pan set is quite nice for the price, and you can't really go horribly wrong with it, I will go over some of the downsides to this set so you can make an informed choice. But first, if you've already bought it, enjoy it. The paint performance is above average for this price range, and while not quite up to professional standards, it does re-wet well for its student grade selection and pigment load. The watercolors flow well, have a good salt reaction, which also confirms their fine particle nature with no gritty or streaky textures or notable binder issues. Some of the colors are a bit weak, especially their earth browns, but they layer well. Most of the selection is vibrant, staining, and should not be expected to be light fast. There are a few things that may hinder beginners starting out with this set. The first thing is the lack of clarity of what you are actually buying. It's not clearly indicated that this is student grade or that it differs from their pro grade pans and tubes, which are also just labeled as Paul Rubens brand. At least with their pretty excellent pan set and the Caroline tube sets that have a different label pattern, there seemed to be an effort to make them appear different from their main line. It would have been better for them to add a different name tag, like how Van Gogh student grade paints are completely separate from Rembrandt's pro grade, even though they are both made by the company Royal Talons. I feel that Paul Rubens is failing to make their products clearly defined, and they also suffer from constant typos and misinformation, including incorrect light fast ratings. Those who are more familiar with watercolors may have noticed the lack of pigment ingredient codes and non-standard color names right away, which is the second indicator past its price tag that this is not a professional set. When asked, the seller confirmed that these are student grade, but also interjected that they are light fast. Unfortunately, I expect about half of the colors to be fugitive. A few of them plainly have fluorescent dye filler to increase the vibrancy, which shows up as a glowing effect when under UV black light. Then there are other colors with two of four star ratings, meaning these aren't great for making art to hang on the wall where nearby window light may cause the color to fade over time. The color selection is limited to common cheaper pigments, and while this includes some helpful ones like Thalo Blue, Green, Ultramarine, and Hansa Yellow, you won't find any of the pricier Viridian, Cobalt Teal, Nickel Iso Yellow, or Cadmiums like you would in the pro versions of Paul Rubens. I was most disappointed at the lack of a good mid magenta, such as PR122, or a brighter rose like PV19, because the purple leaning matter lake is not quite capable of floral pinks, and the carmine is a touch too warm of a red. The resulting purple mixtures desaturate as they dry, and when combined with the blues, they lean towards burgundy or a wine color instead of a vibrant purple. The pre-made vibrant purples included in this set are pretty but fugitive, as is the matter color that has the fluorescent dye in it. For some reason, their ultramarine and all of the earth browns are a bit weaker than I'd expect. This definitely affects the normal ability to mix a neutral black, instead coming out as a mid-gray color. I did get closer to black with the very strong orange color and ultramarine instead, but that also turns the usually light fast mixture into a fugitive one. That realization coupled with the feeling of being limited by less colors, many of which I would not have chosen for a limited palette, 
makes me less likely to reach for this set compared to the bigger, less restrictive selections of Pretty Excellent or Mia's 36 set. If you'd like to compare them, I will put the links to those products and their review videos in the description section below. For my Medusa artwork, I wanted to use some of the lovely strong greens in this set, as well as that burnt sienna that dilutes into a nice peachish tan skin tone. I started with emerald and mixed it with a touch of lamp black to make a color that is very similar to Perylene Green PBK31. All of the colors blended well together, and I had no trouble making smooth gradients. A few of the colors have some minor opacity, but for the most part are easily diluted to transparent for working over line art without covering it up. This set mostly contains staining colors that easily allow for layering to achieve darker values. This set is totally capable of making quality looking artwork without streaky or gritty texture found in some of the other cheaper bargain paint sets. In the end, the question of if this set is worthwhile can only be answered by you. If these colors fit the needs of your personal choice of color selection, or you just really like to paint bigger with larger brushes so the full pan size is a bonus, I could see enjoying this set. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to see more, you can find all of my detailed swatch card images, results from my independent Lightfast testing, and other art supply reviews on my website. I'm currently building a huge pigment database where thousands of colors can be compared side by side with paint from other brands. Updates about this project, along with line art drawings and high res color scans, are also available on Patreon. Thanks for watching.